This talking crypto and stocks with Sly Fox. How y'all feeling today? I hope everybody is feeling lab lab lovely. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all don't know nothing about that though, but uh, I hope everybody feeling good today. Uh, just nothing but nothing but bad news when you turn on your television or you glance at your at your watch list but I must say we got good news coming always you know what I mean if you scared go to church you know what I'm talking about if you really want to make some money in this market some real bread now is the time to invest. DCA throughout this next year. DCA, y'all. You know what I mean? And that's, those is the magic uh, initials right there. Because if we do that, we're going to make we're gonna make so much times our bread. That's all I can say. Twenty, thirty, forty times our money. You know. When the pandemic happened. The NASDAQ only went down about twenty eight hundred. 2,900 points. After it went down 2,900 points, it went up like 6,000 points. We've already went down more than 3,000 points. we down about 5,000 points right now on the NASDAQ from the all-time high. So, and they don't see, by the way, they don't see a bottom in sight. Now, the market may have factored in the 75 basis points that the Fed is going to come out and say they're going to raise it to tomorrow. Right. It may have factored it in already. Uh, so, if they come out and say it's going to be a 50 basis point hike, the market might go up a little bit. You know what I mean? But, we in a crypto winter, we in a bear market. You know? It's just ugly out there. You know what I mean? Everything. They they made the environment around Bitcoin ugly. You know? And, you know, Bitcoin is a victim of its environment right now. The whole market is. The whole crypto market. The whole stock market. We're just victims. You feel me? So, once what's going on around us clear up we gonna soar you know what I mean we gonna fly y'all and I can't stress that enough you know I can't stress it enough I really just want to chop it with y'all before I start with this content, you know, uh, just about not giving up because that's what they want you to do. Same thing as when I'm going to say it again. Let me reiterate this. Same thing when GameStop went crazy. What did they do? You woke up. It was going down. They knew that was the people. 
So since then, the people that just flooded into crypto and stocks, into the market. So what they try to do, run us out. Why? <laughs> Look at the world. You know what I mean? They want the rich to stay getting richer and the poor to keep getting poor. So if we invest in, in times like this, when it's real ugly, uh, you know, they really don't want us doing that because that's what they do. They want us to run and they want to get all our positions. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to give you a, a, a good example on what I'm talking about. Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z under fire for Bitcoin education program in Brooklyn public housing complex. For those that don't know what public housing is, that's pretty much the hood. That's the ghetto. You know what I'm talking about? Who live in the ghetto in America? The majority of people. Right? So, why do you think they under fire for a Bitcoin education program in the ghetto? Because who they teaching that to? So they gonna try to camouflage it and make it seem like that ain't really like they don't want them not to teach the kids that because it's gonna help them or the, they really trying to make it seem like they want them to stop doing that to get them a better sure way you know to the quote unquote promised land or to a better life right but these the people that are saying this is the same people that's investing in bitcoin The same people that got 10, 15, 20, 30 Bitcoin is trying to tell Jay-Z and Jack Dorsey not to put this on in the hood because they feel like it's better ways that Let me tell y'all something, man, from the good book. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. That's straight from the good book. You know what I mean? And I feel like this market is how we going to get that. Because if you look at it, everybody that's wealthy is in this market investing. Right, they calling this the greatest transformation of wealth in stock and crypto history. So, in this type of situation, you want to act aggressively as you can. Because this is this type of uh, where we at in the world with the transformation of the wealth, this not gonna happen no time soon again. So don't let this market mislead y'all. If the if it's the transformation of wealth about to happen, do you think it's just gonna happen all just you know with no volatility, no none of that? They're going to try to scare us. 
they gonna try to scare us out the market, y'all. You know what I mean? So we gotta do our best Warren Buffett impersonation right now. When people are fearful, be greedy. When people are greedy, be fearful. People was very fearful right now. So what are we supposed to do? We supposed to buy up everything. You know what I mean? That's what we supposed to do. So It's more than one way to skin a cat. And when I say that, I mean it's more than one way to get money. Do what you got to do to get some bread. I started recycling again, y'all. Just to have a little bit more bread at the end of the year to invest with. I went out and got a job. Just to have a little bit more bread at the end of the year to invest with. I'm taking this very seriously. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to hit y'all with a little content right now. Right, so Binance US exchange is being sued by a crypto investor over stablecoin collapse, and that could be Luna. Well, 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 I don't even, yeah. So I don't know what uh, what Binance had to do with it. They could be taking it out on the wrong people, but if it's Luna, they need to be talking to Duquan straight up. But uh, in other other news, Y'all, while this is going, cryptocurrencies are still making moves to better their coin, like Shiba Inu, right? Shiba Inu, over 90% of the world is gearing up to accept Shib. Shib is not going to be one of those coins that don't make it. Shib is the people. There's too many people invested. Unless Wells start selling sheep off, we're here to stay. Uh, according to a report by Block, where global Bitcoin adoption could hit 10% by 2030. That's humongous. Ridiculous. You know, so <laughs> that's where we going, y'all, after this crypto winter and all this craziness clear up. We're going to the tippy top. You know what I mean? So it was three trillion. I think the crypto market cap was three trillion, right? The height of it, we down to 990 billion, y'all. We under one trillion by just a little bit, right? That's how far, that's how many people have sold. And they don't see a bottom right now. That's why I stopped dollar cost averaging in for a minute. If you think this is the bottom, dollar cost average in. You know what I mean? But uh, they said they see a support level for Bitcoin 
at 19,000. The one under that is 17. If it drop, it's another one of 16, right? If it drop under 16, they say it could go to 10,000. And that's pretty much Do you know how far the NASDAQ I have to go down for Bitcoin to hit 10,000? We are like 10,800 right now. When, when it dipped, when the pandemic started in 2020, we went down to what, 6,800? We like 4,000 points from that dip after that dip when it went down it went up right so we supposed to go up crazy y'all we down we it, to hit that we have to be down like 10,000 points that's incredible y'all gotta really factor all this in you know what I mean so every crypto is down substantially 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 from <laughs> from his uh, all time high right look at Bitcoin it's down 65.8 cent from it's all time high look at Ethereum it's down 70 post 74 cent percent from it's all time high Solana just hit Robin Hood. Everybody thought it was gonna go cray cray. It's down 89.8 cent from its all percent from its all time high. Dogecoin down 92.6 percent from its all time high. Shiba Inu. 91.91% down from its all time high. Crypto.com down 87.7% from its all time high. XRP, everything is down substantially from its all time high. We got to take advantage of this, y'all. We got to. You know, y'all catch me in part two. I'm going to do a part two to this. Y'all catch me over there. I'm going to holler at y'all. Love and peace always. 100.